with the music, I don't give a damn if there's a hundred people around. I'm just, that's just one of my gifts, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't, this ain't never been my dream. This ain't never been none of that I just, like I grew up on, you feel me? Like I seen it all the time with like that shit five, but that wasn't that night until I went to prison, I came home, I was like, this is what I'm gonna have to do to get my family, take care of my family. So I'm gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? But it's a gift. I do verses in five minutes, literally. Call anybody else. Anybody else did a feature with me, call how long it took me to do my verse. Hope to hell. I, this shit, like, God gave me a gift, bro. He gave me a gift, and I'm gonna use the hell out of that motherfucker, too. It was my brother, my, because I used to write poems. And my little brother was like, bro, if you can write poems, you can rap. That hit dream, rap shit. I was like, hell no. And he took me to the studio. So I just said, was in that mood smoking? Was in that motherfucker? Got the rap. I said, see, I just was in love with myself. I always been a real confident person. So when I heard myself on the mic, I went crazy. I couldn't do nothing, but I said, this is it right here. I loved it. It's fine. But I wasn't taking it like, but that was when I was a teenager. I was still, I was five, but I, ain't, I didn't care about it. Now, it wasn't nothing that I, I used to tell you, we blow, we blow here. That was, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't what it was. Like, if I would have took, I, if I would have took more time and and took it seriously back then, I would have been rich. Keep doing it. You just got to keep doing it. You're going to find your sound. Like, I got so, I, I can do anything. Though. Like, people don't know that. People think, they just heard my and Trump. So, you know, but I ain't mad because that's all they knew. Like when my CD come out, they gonna see. Oh my God, this man! You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Cause like, this see, rappers know, cause they be around me and I heard my shit. We get in the studio together, so they know. Like, be scared of food. You feel like right? nobody's gonna try me like no peon. Niggas know. Boy, boy, I feel like anybody. I can see. You. I can come see. You. No, that, the, the, the rapping was the rapping was never it. It was basketball. Uh, the rapper came. When the basketball went away after high school, there ain't no more basketball. You feel That when the rapper came. But before then, I don't give a fuck about no rap. If you were to tell me, let go to the studio, let go go to the gym, I never picked the studio over the gym. It's still, that's still my, it's still my passion. I still watch every game. LeBron, I'm a fucking big, big LeBron fan. You hear me? Very big. Bet lots of cheese with him. Don't, and you don't like him, call me. You feel I'm a, I'm a real like basketball. They might, I swear to God, bro, I be here. I be another watch basketball highlights all the time. Just, it's still my shit. This, my, one of my boys gonna play ball. I don't want my boy to be no rapper. I want one of my boy to play ball. Football, Odell Beckham. I already top him on the Instagram. I'm, I'm a, when the season know when we gonna link up. And I got it. Just, I got to meet LeBron. Damian Lillard. See Westbrook and Damian Lillard follow me. They both follow me. I didn't DM Damian Lillard before we talked, but I have to meet LeBron. Like I'm gonna get me some when this shit open up. I'm gonna get me some flow seats. I'm going to see him. He gonna meet me. He got to. I'm gonna make a song. I'm gonna make a song called LeBron. What that that bitch gonna go crazy? I'm gonna get if they don't put me in that game, they trip. Can't nobody in that game. You know, Quavo, my cousin. The Migos, they're my, they're my cousin. They're my friend. They're my folks. I just with them. We got some songs and shit. But goddamn, I was I told them tear your ass up. You better pick me on your team. 